All right, this is my progress so far for the first stage. I got the duct tape on a mannequin, then I cut both sides, took off the duct tape layer, I placed another clear trash bag over the mannequin, then I put the duct tape layer back on, and I had made sure to put markings along the line where I had cut so that it'd be easy for me to line it back up. And the reason I did all that is I'm going to be adding another layer on top of this. It's going to be paper towel with um, watered down glue. And when it dries, it's going to serve as a harder outer shell. So when I permanently take this off from the mannequin, it's not just going to collapse on itself. Typically when people use this duct tape technique to build their custom dress for mannequins, um, they'll take the duct tape layer off the model and then just directly add crumpled up newspaper or stuffing or this spray foam that hardens over time inside it. And that's how they get theirs to keep their shape. Now the reason I'm doing it differently here is that adding a layer of paper towel with watered down glue is a technique used when you need to simulate um, the pattern of tree bark. So I'm going to try that now and see how it turns out. And here's today's progress update. I ended up doing three layers of the paper towel with um, the watered down glue. And I actually ended up mixing in a little bit of cornstarch and flour in there. So it's, you can hear that. It's really hard. So hopefully that'll help to keep the shell sturdy when I take it off. And the arms I have taped on temporarily. I just did a duct tape cast of both my arms and then um, cut myself out of it or cut them off my arms and then just filled it with junk mail that I had to help keep the shape. So what I'm about to do now is I'm going to do what I did for the torso. I'll be adding um, paper mache type uh, layers on here. I have them taped on the mannequin so that when I do put the layers on it'll have the exact shape I need because these are going to be detachable. When I stick it in my car, I need the arms and the legs when I do them to be able to be taken off. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the outer layers for the arms, then I'll check back in in a bit. So it's been a couple of days since the last clip. Um, the other day I actually <laughs> pulled or sprained a muscle in my back while I was working out. So all of yesterday I had to take it easy and it really cut into my crafting time. But this is what I have so far. I have the arms paper mache uh, the base layer, and just have them pinned on to the torso. Then I went ahead and did the duct tape casts of my hands. And the way it's going to attach is I'm probably just going to duct tape it on here and then uh, cover it with the outer paper towel layers. Because that's what I did here. And I didn't do it all the way up because I wanted to show you that this detailing here is just aluminum foil um, hot glued on. And once I have all of the um, outer texture layers put on there, it should look seamless. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, so now I'm just stuffing my leg so it'll hold its shape when I uh, put on the paper mache and paper towel layers. And I'm just stuffing it with some really old junk mail. <laughs> You've been pre-approved for a credit card. Cool, when? 2013, okay. Okay, I know this looks bad, but I promise I'm not a psychopath. This is gonna be the head that goes on top of the prop body. And to do that, I need to cut off the base here. And once this is gone, the neck should be around the correct size. So I'm going to continue and further decapitate this decapitated head and I'll go from there. Okay, I have finished building the rig and all the attachments for the limbs. Um, all the limbs and the head are detachable and I made it that way so that I could take it apart and it would be easier to um, transport and uh, pack in my car when the time comes. So as of right now, the head just balances on the neck. Um, I had glued in a piece of craft foam in the back and lined it with spare fabric. And so far it holds for the arms. I'm going to be adding um, elastic straps to the back and underneath here just to keep it more secure. But right now, it, um, both arms are hanging on by um, this hook and this floral wire I had drilled in. But if the arm does get knocked this way and that, I'm going to need the extra security from the elastic just to keep it from accidentally slipping off. 
Now the legs took a bit of brain power to figure out how I could um, quickly attach and detach it from the torso. So each leg is held up by three book rings. And with the gaps here, it's okay because this is all going to be covered with um, fake foliage and fake flowers. Oh, and I should mention that um, besides the feet and the hands, um, everything is hollow. All the pieces used to have wadded up paper, um, just junk mail that I had stuffed in there to keep its shape while I was putting the paper mache on. But um, I ended up taking it out um, of the legs and the arms because it was an extra like three to five pounds and um, I'm trying to keep this prop as lightweight as possible. Because while yes, it does roll, um, I will be going up and down stairs, especially if I compete with this in a cosplay contest. I know for a fact that the stage at DragonCon for their Saturday cosplay contest has stairs. So I'm going to need to be able to lift this. And um, it's already kind of, uh, let's see, it's, yeah, I can lift it, but I do need both hands to do that. Um, if I add lights to it, I'll be hanging, the, I'll be adding a pocket here and putting battery packs on this side to hopefully uh, balance out the weight. For this otherwise it's okay now and I don't think the foliage will add too much weight to the front but um, if I'm not paying attention it's possible this thing could tip over at the convention and I really don't want that to happen because this was a lot of work I do not want it to break the head is just a styrofoam head that I bought from Hobby Lobby and it's pretty lightweight all I did was add two layers of paper mache um, paper towels to it to kind of keep the features uh, showing through and I added the Delamgon's ears. This is just cardboard that I cut from an Amazon box and this was just foil, aluminum foil with two layers of uh, paper mache paper towels. So as far as the body and all the pieces, everything is pretty, you know, pretty solid. So you can hear that. Um, I don't have to worry that much about anything getting squished in because this is this um, paper mache glue is pretty strong stuff. Now the rig on the back, the gist of it is I just put together some um, EVA foam. All these are scraps, by the way, uh, from previous cosplays. EVA foam, craft foam. I built it so that it would fit right over the top of the IV bag stand. The way the torso attaches onto the rig is that I had drilled um, holes on the back in the back. And these are just binder rings that I added in there and they're secured inside with uh, cardboard and a lot a lot of hot glue and on the rig are um, hooks these are just cup hooks and so it hangs primarily from these hooks but with the added weight of the limbs I wanted to make sure these weren't just going to um, tear right off I added some twine so it just runs down here and attaches to this end of the torso. And this is, the purple is just floral wire and this is another binder ring. In case something does break up here, uh, this should hold up because the twine is looped directly onto the stand. So, so far it's holding up and hopefully it will continue to do so throughout the con. the Nellum gun at about 99% completion. Got all the foliage on. Um, I am missing a few details, mainly around the neck, and I need to fix up the hair, but other than that, it's pretty much done. Um, and the last thing I need to do is spray it with um, some sealer so that um, all this doesn't just flake off during the duration of the con. When I painted it, I ended up painting the outermost layer in metallic so that it'll catch the light a lot better and just provide some sort of contrast that will look better on stage. And then as for the rig on the stand, I'm just covering it with faux garlands 
So it just flows all the way down and it'll help um, hide the uh, hardware that holds the actual cop up. So yeah, this is it and it will be making its debut at DragonCon in a couple of weeks. So if you've got any other questions about the build process or anything, just um, let me know. But other than that, thanks for watching this entire build.